So then, um, the next place we're going to go, second last one, is what happens if, I'm going to go back to all of my original colours, maybe you want to do the same. So get your repeats out of the way, and put back all of the colours, there we go. Now what if I want to arrange, rather than out of the end objects, all of them, what if I only want to arrange some of them? And this is what I reserved K for, okay? So the way I'm going to phrase this question is, how many ways are there to arrange K objects from N choices? So I've got my 10, this number, as my overarching thing. That's the number of things I can choose from. And then I only want k of them, right? So let's go with, say, this original 10. Let's pick three of them, OK? Let's just make it nice and simple. So in the first spot, I should say, oh, how many spots are there? Well, if I'm just picking three, instead of a row of 10, I'm going to have three boxes, right? One, two, three. Okay, and I'll um, draw the boxes, draw them. It might take you long, right? And then you can actually put, this is part of your argument, even if your box looks like a trapezium, like mine. In the first spot, in the first spot, how many choices do I have? I still have 10, right? Just like here, I still have 10. So then I pick one. And then I say, okay, I've got a, the next spot to do. So how many choices are there now? There's nine, and then there's eight, okay? So you can see what's missing here is it's got the 10 factorial, but there's what's missing off the end. Yeah, it's like the 10 factorial with the 7 factorial chopped off. Okay, in fact, I like just for myself when I'm explaining this to other people, I kind of like to say, hey, there's actually bits missing here, right? There's kind of like a, a factorial that's not there, right? Um, dot, dot, dot. And so on, okay? So in order to get rid of this, right, this is 10 factorial, and I've got to divide through by this so that it doesn't appear in the whole 10 factorial term. Right? So if I've got n choices, I start, oops, wrong color. I start with the n factorial, which in our case is 10. And I divide through by 7 factorial. Now where does 7 factor in? How does that number emerge out of this? Yeah, so it's the 10 take away the 3 that you've already got, and that leaves over however many. Okay, So I'm going to write n factorial on n minus k factorial, Okay, which in our case over here, that was 10 factorial on 7 factorial, which is really 10 factorial on n take away 3 factorial. That's where the numbers come from. Okay. All right, now... I was so close. This leads us to our last and most important and kind of most interesting result, which is to say this guy over here, which, um, as we know, is given special notation. What do we call this? N, N, P, I've got K, so I'm just going to go with that. N, P, K, right? Now, this guy is super familiar, right? Super, super familiar. Think back to the start of this term. Think back to, like, the beginning of last year. That is almost exactly the same as... And C, well in this case K, right? Which of course is there's no coincidence that they use such similar notation. Um, what is N C K or N C R or whatever, right? Um, if I just go with the Ks, what's the difference between this and that? Yeah, that's right. So so all of these pieces are still there. It still has an N factorial, it still has an N minus K factorial, but in addition to those, it's got this guy hanging on. Okay. So there's lots of ways to get to this result, but I want to get to, like, what does this mean in the context of all of this? I'm going to use these three pieces. I'm going to use all of them. So think carefully about what these mean, and I'm going to use them to generate this result. Okay. So you've got them there on your paper. I need this space, unfortunately. So I'm going to... I can leave a while, so I think. Okay. So I'm going to leave this dot point hanging for a moment, and we'll come back to him. Let's start from this, because it was the closest to what will get us to here. Okay, let's think about our, um, we said we were going to pick out, oh, that green is really similar to the other black. There we go. Let's say we got that. Okay, so this is one of our arrangements, right? This is one of our arrangements. Now, in our case here, like the actual numbers I've got, what would this be? And the answer is... 
this actual, the numbers of this, for our example, would be 10 factorial on 3 factorial, 7 factorial. Yeah? Uh, you, got to, you can see these guys always add up to n. Yeah? So when I look at this, the 3 factorial, which is just extra bit that's come in, how is that re related to this idea here? And keep in mind, it's on the denominator, right? Now, the idea is that you've got three. The, the three, it corresponds to these guys that I've just chosen, right? Now, three factorial is how many ways I have to arrange these guys, right? So, like, for example, this one, and then this one, and then this one, and there's six that I could do, right? In fact, there you go. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. All right. <laughs> So here are our six arrangements, our three factorial arrangements of these guys. Okay. Now hold on a second, have a look. Um, here we go. This is what I'm thinking about. So I've got my 10 factorial. Tell me why I divide by 7 factorial. Tell me why, go back, it's on the board. Why did I divide by 7 factorial? Because I didn't count those ones. I've only got three spots, right? So it's like, hey, there are seven spots that actually aren't in this situation. So I divided by 7 factorial because I'm not even arranging them. Okay, that's good. And a 3 factorial, that doesn't come from like, oh, I've got a different number of spots. It comes from the fact that, hey, there are 3 factorial ways to arrange these. But if I'm not arranging them with respect to, like, what makes these different? Oh, Answer, order. order makes them different. Right? They're all the same colors, but I've put them in different orders. Okay? If I say, well, if these are all the same, Right? And just say, look, just arrange them, just put them in a heap. Okay, I don't care about which one is first and which one is second and which one is third. Then all of these guys, if I if I just put them in a pile, they're all the same. Right? They're all the same. So I have overcounted if I don't care about their order. Does that make sense? So just like here, right? Um, no, sorry, this one here, when we were looking at identical elements, right? It's kind of treating these as identical. You can rearrange them and still get the same pile. Okay, so here's our last thing. How many ways? Now, I can't say arrange anymore. I can't say arrange because I'm just putting them in a pile, right? And it's like, look, that pile and that pile and that pile, all identical, okay? So rather than using the word arrange, um, I was avoiding the word permute before because no one says permute. Um, I can say either, I've got two choices. I can say choose, right? Because a choice, like one, two, three, I, I'm still choosing the same three, no matter which way I turn them around, no matter which one of these I have, I've still chosen the same three, right? So I'm gonna say how many ways um, to choose, and underneath there, underneath there, I wanna put the same kind of idea, but a different word. You can also say how many ways are there to combine these three, right? Uh, because if I were to, say, okay, here you go, in whatever order, I don't matter, it doesn't matter, I've combined the same three, so they're really amounting to the same thing. So how many ways are there to choose, and it's, it's the same thing here, right? It's still k objects, three, from the n choices, the 10, right? So how many ways are there to choose k objects? And you may like to, because we've used the word choose already, you might like to say n options, right? That's the way I have it in my head anyway. Okay, so the way I get to this is just like when I started with um, 10 factorial and then I said, whoops, I overcounted. Okay, I'm going to start with um, MPK because that's how many ways there are to get these guys, right? So that's just thinking about the three spots. So that's MPK. But then I'm going to say, hey, this guy has been overcounted quite a lot by a factor of K factorial, right? Look, three factorial in this case, or four factorial if I added another one on. Okay. So NPK on K factorial, that of course is um, N factorial on N minus K factorial, big set of brackets, all divided by K factorial. You can see this guy's gonna um, sneak onto that denominator and that's NCK, all right?